The longitudinal installation is a ritualistic performance that presents the effects of climate change from both a global and personal perspective. In the work, originally performed at the South Pole in 2007 and the North Pole in 2008, I recite quotes from 24 different people impacted by climate change across the 24 time zones. Each quote is recited above a shoe marked with its longitude. The 24 shoes are arranged in a circle along the respective longitude lines. The site specificity of the poles, the points where all longitudes converge, is an integral aspect of the longitudinal installation as it allows for a perception of the global scale that is drastically minimized. By placing each shoe in accordance with a physical marker like a longitude line, allows for a sense of reality to permeate into the performance. This is a reality that presents itself globally across the span of all 24 time zones, yet its presentation is remarkably small in scale. A comprehension of the closeness of the global community can be drawn from this, an apt stage to present an outlook on something as universally important as climate change. The recital of quotes from different people around the world works to present climate change this way as something that affects everyone, but also as an issue that cannot be addressed individually. Through the work, I aim to show our interconnectedness and need to come together to problem solve. Zero degrees, Spain. There may be a move of the wineries into the Pyrenees in the future. Xavier Sort, Technical Director of the Miguel Torres Wineries. 15 degrees east, Switzerland. Losses to insurers from environmental events have risen exponentially over the past 30 years and they're expected to rise even more rapidly still. Pamela Heck, insurance industry expert. 30 degrees east, Zimbabwe. We used to be able to grow everything we want, but that has all changed. Matsapi Nahai, grandmother. 45 degrees east, Turkey. We are helpless. We are trying to rescue trapped people while also trying to evacuate the floodwaters that have inundated hundreds of houses. Muharrem Ergul, mayor of the Beykoz district of Istanbul. 60 degrees east, Iran. More than 90% of our wetlands have completely dried up. Alamard Almardi, environmental researcher of the Fars province. 75 degrees east, the Maldives. In the worst case scenario, we'll all have to move. Foreign Ministry spokesman, Ahmed Shahid. 90 degrees east, Tibet. The Sherpas of Kumbo may not know everything, but they are suffering the consequences of the people's greed. We mountain people should be careful and take precautions. If we don't save Kumbu today, our fresh water will dry up and the problem will be impossible to solve in the future. Nagua Tenzing Yango, the abbot of the Degochi Monastery. 105 degrees east, Borneo, Indonesia. There has been no rain. It's horrible. The governor's office has instructed schools and offices to close until further notice. Hidayat, government official. 120 degrees east, the Philippines. The disaster has covered almost every corner of this province. Rampaging floods, falling trees, damaged houses. It happened very rapidly and many people did not expect this because they haven't experienced mud flows in these areas before. Fernando Gonzalez of the Obey province. 
135 degrees east, Japan. It is no exaggeration to say that the Japan faces a critical situation when describing the rapid decline of marine supply in its domestic waters that is linked to seaweed laws. Tengusa provides food for marine species. Tomohoro Takasi, head of the fisheries department at the Hajoshima municipality. 150 degrees east, the Great Barrier Reef, Australia. In 20 years time, bleaching is highly likely to be annual and that will cause shallow water corals to be in decline. We need to start working out how we can help people who rely on it for their income. It's really quite a stunning fact. Ovi Hoog Guldberg, director of the Center of Marine Studies at the University of Queensland. One hundred and sixty-five degrees east, Micronesia. We have nowhere to go. Beham Nakamin, environmental educator. 180 degrees Tuvalu. Tuvalu is the first victim of global warming. Koloa Talaki, the former prime minister. 165 degrees west, Niue. Yesterday morning we woke up to a scene of so much devastation. It was just unbelievable. Cyclone Heda was just so fast, furious, and ruthless. Cecilia Talagi, government secretary. 150 degrees west, Alaska. We are at a crossroads. Is it practical to stand and fight for our mother ocean? Or do we surrender and move? Shisharef Mayor Edith Wooderstas. 135 degrees west, Yukon, Canada. The weather is really unpredictable and the ice freezes much faster and breaks up earlier. There are more incidents of hunters falling through the ice. Kikshapa. Hunter in the Grius Ford, Canada. 120 degrees west, Nunavut, Canada. Our cultural heritage is at stake here. We are an adaptable people. We have, over the millennium, been able to adapt to incredible circumstances, but I think adaptability has its limits. If the ice is not forming, how else does one adapt to seasons that are not as they used to be? when the whole environment is changing under our feet, literally. Sheila Wadkutlier, president of the Circumpolar Conference. 105 degrees west, Colorado. In Colorado, climate change means less snow, less water, more wildfires, less biodiversity, and less economic opportunity, as there is less water available for development. Stephen Saunders, president of the Rocky Mountain Climate Organization. 90 degrees west, Nicaragua. I closed my eyes and prayed to God. Maria Gonzalez, Hurricane Mitch survivor. 75 degrees west, Peru. I tell my wife the day the mountain loses its snow, we will have to move out of the valley. Jose Ignacio Lambari, farmer at the Urabamba Valley. 60 degrees west, Argentina. The flooding has forced us to redesign routes. We thought it would be for a short period of time, but now it has been almost six years. Carlos Avallanada, manager of a trucking company. 45 degrees west. Brazil, I am very frightened. One thing goes wrong and the entire system follows. Jair Soto, mayor 
of Manakiri. 30 degrees west, Greenland. They tell us that we must not eat matak, but that is all we know. Eating Ingwood food makes us who we are. And anyway, we have nothing else to eat. Tekumek, town of Konan. 15 degrees west, Mauritania. We are only eating one meal a day. When there is not enough food, it is the young and the old that get fed first. Fatimitu mint eletu bukamo. The longitudinal installation is intended to initiate engagement between people in response to climate change. This is seen not only within the actual installation, but also in its interactive nature. The longitudinal installation is meant to be performed by anyone who wants to read the 24 quotes, and everyone is encouraged to contribute their own quote as a 25th participant, explaining how climate change is impacting their lives. This interaction allows for the work to function as a sort of archival performance, one that records the efforts of those that are participating concurrently with their interaction. 